On this episode of Donald Eats Bulgaria, cute day. Cute, damn it. Cute day. Cute day, also known as Bulgarian meatballs, which low key bothers me because they aren't meatballs. They're like many meat patties, and I don't know why they consist on calling them meatballs in every translated menu. But that's neither here nor there. That's a personal pet peeve I have that I'm working to get over. Anyways. Kyufte are Bulgarian meatballs. They're usually a mix of pork and beef, and they're fried or grilled, and they have an interesting combination of spices. The main difference in spices is always in Kyufte, you add a lot of parsley, and it's amazing. Also, Kyufte is one. If you want to say many Kyufte, you say Kyufteta. If you want to say the many Kyufte, you say Kyufteta, which is just fun to say. Let's say it together. Kyufteta. All right, guys, I have several different kifteta here. I've got grilled, I've got fried, I've got homemade. Let's eat that meat. Oh, 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 oh. All right, guys, these first kifte are from Ascara or grill right behind my work. And if you look closely, you can see that these are fried kifte which arguably makes them more delicious. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, I love these kipte. I'll be honest with you. I have them maybe about once a week from behind my work. They're fantastic. They're extremely salty, which I dig on. However, they are missing something that makes them better. Lutanitsa! <laughs> It is illegal to eat kifte without lutenitsa in Bulgaria. Do not make that mistake. Do not go to jail for life. Mm. Mm. Oh, well. I probably should have mentioned for people who don't know, lutenitsa is a vegetable red pepper based spread that's freaking delicious. Solid, not out done kifte. Alright guys, this next kifte is from my local restaurant, Don Vito, and as you can see, these kifte are grilled, which arguably makes them more delicious. Let's dig in. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh guys, I love kifte. These are fantastic. The grilling changes the texture, they're a little less greasier. And also, these ones have a much more distinct onion flavor coming out, which I love. Honestly, it's totally up to how I'm feeling that day, whether or not the first kifte are better than this one. I love them both. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh yes, I forgot something. Lutanitsa! I need to remind you, illegal without this. Mmm. 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 Oh, good. Okay, guys. We're on to Kifte number three. These ones are from, that's right, Babino Cello, Grandma's Village. And as you can see, these ones are fried as well. And Honestly, these are actual like balls. So props to Bobino Cello for making meatballs that are balls. <laughs> okay guys, I wanna open with, I honestly love these. However, Comparing them to the other two, especially compared to the other fried kifte from the scar behind my work, those ones were better. They were just a little greasier, juicier, the flavors blended more. These ones, I think the ball messed things up. Like, they're a tiny bit dry in the center and a little bit not on the same level. However, still very, very delicious. And you know what makes them more delicious? 
Lutanitsa! <laughs> it's like increasing the flavor profile by 10,000. So good. So good. Okay, guys. These lab cute. It's not how you say that word. Okay, guys. These last cuvette are homemade cuvette. We made these earlier today. That's right, look at these. And that's right, we fried them. Let's dig in. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are amazing, guys. Okay, they're juicy, they're wonderful. Also, we added cumin to ours, as well as all the other spices. And I don't think any of the other spices have cumin in them. And it comes out, it's amazing. These are fantastic. Also, prep time on these is maybe 10 minutes tops. You just take the meat, you add some chopped onion, you mix it all together, and then you fry it. And that takes another about eight minutes. These are very easy to make, worth the effort. Also, looked at me! Amazing. I love cuvette. All right, guys. If you like meat, cuvette is your thing. It's amazing. I have never had a bad cuvette in my entire life. It's fantastic. And quick review, in order from least delicious to most delicious, still fantastic, Bobino Cello, but just a bit too fat to keep that juiciness. Then honestly, I gotta go with the grill from Don Vito. Amazing, can't complain. Then the fried ones from the Scara behind my work. And then, of course, as always, the homemade are the best. Come spend some time in my kitchen and you'll understand. Num, num, num. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Love your beautiful faces. If you could do me a favor, smash that like button. And also, if you want to see me eat more stuff, hit subscribe. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Ciao.